Hello YouTube and this is Simple App Inventor 2.0 and today we'll be working on trying to make an Hackintosh. Um, I've looked online and I'm actually doing this build for my, uh, what we call my woman right now. And uh, she wants to have a Hackintosh. Uh, doesn't want a PC and she doesn't want to pay the premium price of an Apple product. Which she already has a MacBook but she wants kind of a desktop computer with it running um, uh, OXX. So in this, I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps of what to purchase and what to do. And um, I've seen a lot of videos out there with parts. Um, most of them are actually wrong on the parts that you can actually use. And uh, they just don't actually go into the actual making of it. So I'm going to be making this a three-part series with me explaining what parts to buy. Secondly, when I get the parts in, how to assemble it. And then thirdly, how to install the actual Hackintosh software or Mavericks onto the computer. So it's going to be a three part series and I'm going to actually walk you through the whole process. This will be released prior to this. Um, one thing I'll let you know is everything I have done through Amazon and um, I did this because I need the parts done here quickly. Um, so you probably could get better prices at other stores but I highly recommend doing Amazon because you get the two day shipping with Amazon Prime. And that's why uh, I honestly did it because I have Prime and I get it here in two days and I get this build over with uh, pretty darn quick. Um, one of the things that you want to keep in mind though is that the two things you want to keep in this build is you want to keep your processor and your motherboard. And the two reasons behind that is because the processor and the motherboard are the two hardest things to get running with OSX. Um, there's not a lot of drivers out there because you know Mac you don't see an AMD processor in there which there are a few caveats that will actually fit with an AMD processor with OSX. But for the general purposes, you're not going to find all of uh, the parts for AMD working. So stray away from that. Um, the graphics cards, yes, but not their actual uh, processors. You also want to uh, keep with the, with the motherboard. I preferably go with Gigabyte, and this is because Gigabyte's probably, I would say, about like 80% to 70% of all their boards are fully compatible with OSX um, out of the box. That means that when you install onto the motherboard of a Gigabyte, your LAN connection, your HDMI port, or what have you on board, and graphics are all going to hook up with the drivers on board with a Gigabyte board. That doesn't happen with a lot of other boards. ASUS, hit and miss, MSI really. That's a real hit and miss. Um, not a lot of their boards really do work. You might get a couple, you know, the audio might work on one and the NIC might work on the other. Um, but you're not going to actually get the full back and forth uh, capability with those boards. So I highly recommend if you are going to stray away from the boards that I'm using to either increase your amount of um, add-on features, uh, stay within the Gigabyte. I know it's not the best board. I'm more of a personally an ASUS fan. But you, you know, you got to actually work with what you have. And the processor, um, uh, we'll get into that later. But um, I am using a uh, Centeon uh, processor rather than a uh, actual um, i processor, which is highly recommended that you use an i processor because they are guaranteed to work with the onboard's graphics for most of them. Uh, but uh, this one, I have looked through multiple videos and actual builds of people playing together and this pro uh, process has been known with this board to work fully with integrated graphics. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into the actual um, uh, build of this computer. Now I tried to do a budget build, I'm not trying to overdo this, so I think my total came out with Virginia Tax about around 290 if I'm not mistaken, the 285. We'll go ahead and check that because I actually I'll show you the actual subtotal. And then once again this all came from Amazon um, Prime shipping. I'm actually going to build this so stay tuned for further videos on actually how to make this uh, Hackintosh with me. All right, so here we go. Um, this is our first part, um, which we're going to be doing with the motherboard. It's a Gigabyte LGA 1150 socket for Intel. Um, it has basically all, all you really need on it. You got yourself a, uh, what we call onboard graphics. You got, I believe it's HDMI port, USB. Once again, you know, she's not really looking for too much, so we're looking at a standard uh, board here. It's a uh, micro. Um, ATX board, which fits into basically any ATX case. Uh, for the most part, there are a couple of cases out there that do state that they only fit the ATX and don't have the other pinouts here, but for the most part, micro ATX uses the same pinout as an ATX board, um, missing a couple holes and just smaller. 
All right, for the case, um, I went with a uh, Bit Phoenix case. As you can see, this is a girl's case, so that is the reason why I went with this. Um, you can absolutely go with any case. The case does not matter whatsoever in, in this uh, fact. I mean, if you wanted to, you can run it right out of the box and, you know, just put it on its side and stick it in there. The case really does not matter. It's more of a uh, kind of, you know, what appeals to you and amount of airflow. Now, if you are looking to go professional with it, yes, go with a case that's going to be a better reputable for airflow and keeping your temperatures or if you're going to overclock the processor, then yes, the, the case does become a kind of a factor in it. But with a low build and a budget build like this, case is really not an issue because you're not overclocking anything in your airflow for what the components that are going to be in here is not going to need any substantial airflow to keep them cool. Now I know it's kind of overkill for a processor and uh, what we're going for here, but I got it on sale and it's uh, $45.99 from Amazon Prime and it's Corsair Vengeance 8 gig. It's a two, uh, two stick um, gigabyte uh, DDR3 RAM. It's gaming RAM. Uh, I like it because it looks cool, honestly, and it was on sale. I mean, you can't beat it. Forty-five bucks for Vengeance, uh, you know, RAM. It's not the newest upgrade of what they are. It's not the fastest one, but you know, it looks cool and it'll do the job. Um, if you are going to do eight gigs, I highly recommend getting the two sticks. That way, you can utilize both DIMMs on the motherboard. Uh, this is because uh, you know the whole thing about having uh, dual channel memory is that you can actually pull from both at the same time. If you use one stick inside one slot, you're not really utilizing that speed. You probably won't notice the speed difference in that scenario, but it is always better to fill in both DIMMs rather than just the one with one 8 gig stick. Um, now the power source, I did go a little bit more than what I would actually doing this build I was going to look at doing about a $15 power supply but um, they were all from you know, generic brands and they were you know just standard power sources and I honestly I didn't trust them um, I know that the build doesn't require a lot of power and probably not needed to have a power supply of 400 350 would have just done just well with this build but in this case I wanted to go with a name brand like Roswell which is not the best brand in the world but they do have a reputable um, ability of contacting a support team and warranty which the generic brands that for fifteen dollars just weren't there so you know for an extra fifteen dollars they can have a peace of mind they'll have a somewhat decent power supply in there and i won't really have to worry about its longevity compared to a generic one which you know might be throwing up smoke in a couple of weeks Uh, for our hard drive, and once again, this does not matter, just like the case and the power supply. Um, it's all up to preference. I highly recommend anything over 500 gigabytes. And if you are doing a um, H8, uh, we call a hard drive of this magnitude, make sure that you're going over 72, uh, 7200 RPM. Um, anything below that, and you're going to be losing a, a significant performance. Uh, on your end and also you know the boot time is going to be a lot slower especially with OXX so I would recommend staying above the 7200 RPM on your uh, hard drive and can keeping above the 500 uh, gig mark because um, I believe that OSX from what I've been hearing does take up a considerable amount of your hard drive space so going solid state and throwing in a 64 gig just for your boot drive and you know you're probably just going to get your OS on there and that's it And here we go, um, we go to Intel's uh, Celeron G1840 processor. Um, this basically is a really cheap processor. It's dual core. Um, I forgot the exact specs on this one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It's 2.8 dual core. Um, you know, it's not hyper-threaded, it's not anything. It's, you know, I think it's a little bit better than the Pentium, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's just your standard processor. I really just picked this because I know it will work with the OXX. Uh, multiple people stated that they've done builds with it. It works. It's been proven. Um, it's basically the only reason why I went through it. And obviously the price, um, you know, was a big factor in this. So we're going to go ahead and do the last part. And we're going to subtotal this all for you so you can actually see that, you know, we've... Uh, hit it within our price market and you can see our grand total here is going to be two hundred and ninety five dollars and seventy one cents for this entire build that is with tax virginia tax um 
you know, fourteen dollars eighty nine cents. The total parcel without tax, you doing New York State, I know you got more California. You're looking at two eighty uh two hundred and eighty dollars and eighty four cents for the total, and that includes everything. Now remember you probably can get this a lot cheaper, probably you push I would say around two fifty. Um, probably even 240, 230 if you really downgrade it on your hard drive, downgrade it on your power supply, and downgrade it really on the case. I mean, the case you could probably pick up, I think, for like $22 for the cheapest one on Amazon Prime, and probably even cheaper if you did it through uh, Tiger Direct, which I uh, also like. Um, but uh, they just didn't have the speed of the shipping without having to pay for their premium uh, 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 membership, which I don't have. So uh, basically, that's all here I mean I hope you guys like the build um, like I said I will be getting these parts in soon I should be getting them it says uh, arriving Thursday by 8 p.m. at the latest I usually get it a day early or the morning of the day that it says that it's going to ship so I'll be having a video hopefully out by this weekend because she'll be pushing me to build this thing and you know put it out there and I'll be documenting me not only installing the OS on there but also putting the whole entire machine together so that way um, you guys have a little bit more feel for those of the more novice so part two would be more of the build for the more novice who had never built a computer before and then your part three will actually be for the people that you know want to skip part two and go straight to the install of the OS onside the machine and we'll go step by step and we'll show you exactly how to prepare your flash drive and how to prepare your computer for this process. Um, thank you. If you have any comments, questions, please subscribe. Use my affiliate codes uh, down below for all these parts. So if you are going to be ordering through Amazon, please use my links. They help me and they help you find the parts quicker. It's, you know, it's nothing to you. You're, if you're still going to order from Amazon, you might as well give me a kickback for a little bit of help. It really does help. Thank you very much. Um, you guys have a great day. Bye.